Welcome to my Iron Man series, where I do not decide anything that I have to do on the account. I will roll a number generator. First roll is hours doing the task. Second roll is deciding what task I get. Every 10 tasks, I will spice it up and roll a forfeit challenge to do for the next 10 tasks. Examples of this are I am locked to PvP World, Ultimate Iron Man, Can't Run, and more. Hope you enjoy our Iron Man. My restricted iron. We'll be buying the fly fishing rod. Random event that gave me like 700 feathers. Actually, it's, it's pretty nice now because then I can fly fish. We'll be starting timer here. I will be fly fishing. I will be banking the first few inventories just to make sure that my cooking is caught up with the fish I will be catching later on in this nine hour session, which will be tunas and lobsters probably. So this is the first bag of rod shroud. 25 fishing. Another bag and another inventory full. I think I'll do one more invent and then I'm pretty sure my cooking will be caught up whenever I get the task. And that's the last inventory of trout. I will now be dropping them. 30 fishing. 35 fishing. That means that I can now catch tuna. So I'm gonna pause the timer and go get a harpoon and get to a tuna spot. We made it to Catherby. Buying the Habu. First inventory of tuna has been caught. And that's 40 fishing. That took a while. Let's start up the lobster grind. Buying the lobster pot. I think I might have to switch to tunas at some point because my cooking will not be caught up. I, I did the math. I still have six hours left there. I can do a lot of fishing. Oh, random event. Let's go, touch the strange thingy. What we get? 112 chaos runes, that's pretty nice. These random events are really broken, what? 45. What is this? Sure. Boom. Two unnoted rubies, that's pretty nice. 46 fishing, this skill is fucking slow. I have around almost 400 tunas, so I think that should be okay for the cooking to catch up. 48 fishing. Did I mention the skill is pretty slow? Is that coins? It's coins, I guess, on the bar. Let's go. Got a gold bar. 50 fishing. We made it. Still half an hour left. This is now our highest skill. And that is... It, the longest task of the series, has been completed. Let's go to the bank. I made it to the big 50 fishing. Let's see how many lobby lobbers I do have in the bank. Ended up with six, a little bit over 600 lobby lobs and almost 400 tuna. And yeah, these trout and, and salmon. So it should be calculated that I can cook it all with my cooking level. So that's awesome. Let's roll the hour. One hour. Roll the task. Six. Agility again. <laughs> Yikes. Hell yeah, we got our first pyramid top. Let's claim the first 10k, nice. I decided to bank after the first trip here because I need more food. So I have to find cactus in this desert and to fill my water skins. Okay, I'll try. Cut it up. Fail to cut it. Can I just hop? I can just hop? That's so broken. I'm gonna do that. We have now successfully hopped through like two wells to get all these water skins filled up again. Let's go back to the pyramid. We're back at the pyramid. E, let's get it. 
Another 10k, nice. Gotta go back again though, for more food. This guy is called Billy Goat, what? So I only have shit food left, but I think I can still make it with only shrimps. Filled my water skins again. We can start again. Another pyramid. And some bones. Uh, so this guy, I think I'm gonna try one more trip without banking. I might have to just tail out, but we'll see. 46. Not sure if I can make one more run, to be honest. I uh, don't have much food left. I have failed a lot. But we'll see. I'll just TP out if... If I don't have more food. Yeah, it's doomed. I will tell it back to Longbridge. I will just do the rest of the time in Varrock because I fuck that pyramid now. I, and I got 30k, that's fucking nice, man. That's so much gold. I've never had this much. And the timer is over. Done with the agility task. Let's roll an hour. Two hours. And let's roll the task. 10. Fletching. 15. 20. And that's fletching completed. I think I have no more stuff left, so... Yeah. Just I end up 23 fletching. Roll an hour. Two hour. Roll the task. Fletching. That's a skip. Roll an hour. Two hours. Now let's roll and task. Six hours. 16. Melee. So, in the last hour I've been killing cows. 130 cows have been slain. I think I'm gonna try to move to the chaos roots now, see if I can get some herbs. Would be nice. Yep. What do we get? We got a vial of water. How fucking useless. Might not be able to kill that many. This shit food. Three kills. Um, but yeah, it's just too hard. I have to bang every free kill. That's just... I'm not doing that. Decide to go back to Lumbridge to kill some regular men. They also drop herbs, not the same drop rate as, as the druids, of course. But I think it's an easy variant, so that's pretty nice. I'm gonna start the time and go. Chaos runes, nice. Got a Rainer weed from a woman. Now reach 20 attack and 20 strength. Another Rainer weed. First bag of killing men and women. A ton of herbs, very nice. Another bag filled with herbs. Buying a scimitar. Buying the chronicle. Now it's sand crabs, hopefully they don't wreck me. 25. Can go buy some more food, I have no more food left, so yep. So I bought some chocolate and some banana because I'm a fat monkey. But then I realized right here I can just buy bread from this guy instead, which is much better food. So just wasted time there. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, my cat grew. Nice. Let's pick it up. 30 strength. That's 30 attack. Switch to strength again. 30-30. Nice. A random event. A lot of death runes. Nice. I reached 35 strength. I think I might train a little bit defense now. Alright, that's 10 defense. That was pretty fucking fast. I'm just gonna switch to a Tag again, get now 35 35. I'm going back to strength. Come on, I think I did it correctly. Hopefully, we'll see. And we got some gear, some zombie stuff, puggers, and that's 40 strength. And that is the melee task completed. We ended up with 40 strength, 35 attack, 36 hit points and 10 defense. Now to the big Pogus moment where we open the 
oyster and the caskets. Oh yes. Let's go. Okay, I don't know what this is. And now to the caskets. I found coin. More coin. I don't know how much it was. I think like 7... 600 GP? We're now at the last task in this section, in the spice roll, so... Let's roll the hours. Three hours. And let's roll the task. Five. Fishing. Three hours of fishing. Okay, I've not seen fishing before. That's pretty cool. I want to spice the fishing up a little bit, so I am going to fly fish these for a little bit, just to get a little bit better XP power. And then I probably do lobsters for the rest of the hours. 52 fishing. This is pretty fast. A random event. What do we get? Three uncut sapphires. 54 fishing. I think I'm gonna stay for 55 and then go to lobsters. 55 fishing. Let's go to lobster spot. Just realized I can do swordfish, so I'm gonna be doing that for the next hour and 20 minutes. A random event. What have we got? I came out up. And that's the fishing task done. And also the spice roll has been completed, so now I don't have to walk anymore, which well you're watching it on video format, so you can't really see the pain it actually is because it's really awful. Holy shit. I ended up fishing 130 swordfish. I also got more tunas, but I had some already, so I, I'm not really sure how many I, I caught. So now it's time to roll another spice roll. So after my 10 task done, I will do something and it's going to be rolled now. It's 1 to 9. A lot of different stuff that can be rolled. If you have any suggestions to like a spice roll or something that is not there, you can just leave a comment down below and I will consider it. So let's roll. 1 to 9. Generate. 4. PvP world. <laughs> 